The World Health Organization's director general issuing a dire warning on the Zika virus. So the mosquito-borne virus has links to severe birth defects, and it's showing up in the U.S. The CDC has confirmed 31 cases and is forecasting as many as 4 million people could be affected worldwide. Dr. Kelly Powers is with me now. She is in a private practice in Connecticut. Dr. Kelly, great to see you. Great to see you, Deirdre. Thanks so, for having me back. To what extent do people really need to be concerned right now? Mm -hmm. Connecticut, New York, we're in winter, but what about summer? Right. So, you know, public awareness is always a good thing, but public panic is not. So it's important to know the symptoms. This awareness is giving us a little bit more of an idea of what symptoms to look out for. Most importantly, fever, acute onset fever, myalgia, which is muscle pain, uh, arthritis pain as well, joint pain, arthralgia, uh, loss of appetite, dehydration, dehydr dehydration, excessive sweating. These but are all things that are similar to, to fever or common colds, but if you're traveling in those say, areas. That's what's yeah. tricky because these exactly. are all common symptoms for almost anything. Right. But the real risk is really for women who are pregnant Correct. or planning on becoming pregnant, right? That's for everybody right. else, the, the risk is low that they're actually going to have sustained long term damage. Correct. If you have traveled to one of these endemic areas, which are subtropical, tropical, South America, Central America, you recollect being bit by a mosquito or you're showing some of those symptoms present to your primary care, ER, infectious disease, and yes, it is shown that it's human to human contact is rare. However, it, we're not really sure yet. It's Mostly it's mosquito borne and, and transmission through the mosquito itself. Because all 30 U.S. residents who have a confirmed case actually did travel to right. Brazil, other parts of South America, That's right? That's absolutely right. Yes, correct. Now, the government of El Salvador has urged women to postpone pregnancies for two years. Does that strike you as extreme? You know, I'm this is so new and we're all learning as we go. So two years might be a good mark. However, there is some talk from the, uh, the department in University of Texas that is showing that the incubation period is, is 12 days and it's staying in the system for approximately three weeks. Okay. So again, it's still really new. You know, it's, so it's two years seems like a precaution, but I understand does, what you're saying does. early Correct. days. And in the spring, my guess is you're going to have a lot of people knocking on <laughs> the door of your office. Dr. Kelly Perhaps. Powers, thank yes. you so much for joining thank us there. Address. She is in private practice in Connecticut.